Hi, welcome. Uh, this is Joe's Home Flavors and my name is João Silva. So today we're going to be cooking um, a Brazilian dish. It's called uh, Bobó de Camarão or Prawns Bobó. It is uh, typical from Brazil from a number of uh, regions. I think the most popular one being the Bahia region. Um, it, it's it's a, a very um, a tropical uh, recipe. There's a, a number of things that uh, you don't normally um, use on your day-to-day -day, uh, cookings, especially if you're on my side of the world. But I promise you, it's a delight and uh, you will enjoy every bit of it. So on with our, um, uh, with our ingredients. We have a, a panoply of, uh, of ingredients today, as you can see. I've um, taken um, the time to chop everything and prep as much as I could um, off camera, so you, I don't have to bore you with that. And uh, so um, let's get on with the, with the ingredients. So, because it's a prawn um, um, dish, obviously we have our prawns here, which are raw, not, not, uh, they are uh, peeled but raw, they're not cooked yet. Uh, then we have uh, some uh, onions, some garlic, tomatoes, fresh tomatoes, uh, peppers, all three colors of peppers. Uh, this is uh, cassava root or um, uh, manioc root as well. That's, that's the same, uh, same name. This is palm oil. This is not your regular um, oil. Palm oil is very good and it's got its, its own texture and its own special flavor. This is uh, uh, olive oil, just regular olive oil, just perfumed with my herbs as you know it. And this is my piri piri oil as well. Then we have salt, pepper, and uh, uh, sweet paprika over there, smoked sweet paprika. We have some uh, fish stock, and uh, we have some coconut oil as well. Um, also, we have some uh, fresh herbs to, to perfume this dish. Uh, in, in my case, I have um, parsley and um, chives. And uh, that's about it. So uh, let's get on with the, with the process of uh, cooking our delicious Brazilian meal. Okay, so uh, we have a number of things to do. So the first thing we need to get on is to uh, cook this, uh, this uh, cassava root. And uh, for that, I have already some water here on my uh, hob there. So I'm going to get this cassava in there. And I'm going to add my fish stock. This is about, about a liter of, uh, of uh, fish stock. And so we're using that uh, water plus the, the fish stock to, uh, to cook our cassava. So I'm going to uh, marinate these, uh, these uh, prawns uh, a little bit and for that I'm going to use one lemon, in, so the juice of one lemon, like that. And now we're going to use uh, as well a little bit of um, salt and pepper, so some salt. some pepper and a little bit of that um, smoked paprika as well okay and now we're just going to marinate that I'll give it a, a, a good massage first and, and let it marinate there for a, a couple of minutes okay okay so I've added an, a little bit of uh, butter on this frying pan our um, our prawns have been uh, marinating now for about 10 minutes and uh, we're now going to give it a, a light cook before we, um, we reserve them to use later. So on with our prawns. I'm using for this dish about 400 grams of prawns. So the leftover marinade uh, of um, uh, lemon juice, salt, pepper and, and paprika, I'm, I'm not going to pin it, I'm going to use it for the prawns still. You'll see the prawns turning uh, pink and when they turn completely pink that means they're cooked. Okay, so my prawns are um, almost done. Um, we shouldn't cook them too much. So this is the time where you, you get the, the rest of the marinade and just in, incorporate that butter and they will finish cooking and once they're done put them back in the bowl and reserve them for for the next step okay 
There we are. Now we're going to start our um, our main dish. Um, our cassava is uh, is cooking nice and well. It should it should cook uh, for maybe 15 to 20 minutes because uh, it's a root and uh, it tends to be um, on a on a hard side a little bit, so it needs proper cooking. So as that goes, we're now going to start our uh, base with uh, the onion. Okay. And now we need a little bit of olive oil. And then a little bit of our piri piri oil. And our palm oil. Look at that beautiful orange color. This is the palm oil, it's absolutely stunning. And it gives a nice um, and different flavor to to your food as well. So as soon as you're happy that that, that onion is, is going, um, then you add your garlic. So we have about uh, four um, garlic cloves, but it depends on uh, on how much, again, how much you, you like garlic. Um, you can put more garlic or less garlic. It's up to you. And I will now um, add my uh, peppers. So all three of the peppers. This is half um, half a red pepper, half a yellow pepper, and half a green pepper. Um, but again, in terms of portions, uh, they all be in JoelsonFlavors.com. Um, to the portions, to the to the the amount of food I'm I'm producing today. But obviously, you can then adjust that to your um, likings and to your need as well. Depends on how many people you're cooking for, uh, and how much you you like one particular ingredient. Okay, so now, now we need to uh, cook those, uh, those peppers for a, a little bit as well. So the peppers have been cooking okay as well, and uh, they need to be nice and soft. I'm going to add my uh, tomatoes now. Okay. And I'm going to chop these herbs, stalks and all. You can add some of the, these fresh herbs now to the pot. And another stir. Let it cook for a bit. My cassava root is pretty much um, ready. The reason I chopped um, or diced that uh, cassava root uh, is to um, make the, the cooking process faster. So uh, either you uh, resort to a pressure cooker or you have to uh, allow um, 20 or 30 minutes to cook that root. Um, but one trick around it is if you um, chop it into or dice it into uh, nice little cubes it will cook um, faster and because we're going to mash it anyway it makes no difference uh, what sort of shape it, it is when I'm cooking it. I thought about um, showing you what a, what a cassava root looks like uh, or manioc. Um, all my friends in Brazil know what this is. This is uh, on their day-to-day -day, um, foods. It's one of the normal uh, things to use. Uh, we don't use it so much in Portugal. In Africa, uh, it's also a very popular um, root. And uh, yeah, this is what it looks like. Uh, here in the United K uh, Kingdom, you can, you can find it everywhere in, this, in any supermarket. You just need to know what to look for and what's, what it looks like. And uh, this is how you cook it, okay? So this is uh, cassava, uh, AKA manioc root. Right, so our peppers are, and tomatoes and everything, is rendering nice and beautifully. Um, as you can see, there's a, they're becoming a nice paste. We want them soft like this. Uh, we don't want anything crunchy. So this is going well. I'm gonna bring it to the minimum temperature and uh, keep it covered. And now we're gonna work on this cassava. So I think my cassava is done as well. So, 
I'm going to strain it because obviously I need to, s to save that um, sauce as well. So here we are. Looks like pineapples. That fish sauce and that sauce altogether, um, it's a good thing. You can use it for soups as well, but I'm, I'm gonna actually use some of it. But if you don't use it all, don't don't pin it because it's, it's good. Okay, so now we need to mash this because we want um, puree sort of thing. So, This is very starchy, this root, so you probably will need some help. Um, so ha have some of that um, juice coming in, some of that sauce, and um, to help you mash all of this. So we added our um, cassava to our pot, and we're now mixing the whole thing in. And this is the part where our coconut milk comes in. If you've never tried um, Brazilian cuisine, I strongly advise you to do it because it's so flavor, it's so full of flavor and so exotic and uh, tropical. Oh my God! Regardless of, of uh, where you are in the, in in Brazil, this. They know their stuff, they know their food. Okay, we need to get that back to temperature. Right, so, let's get some salt going. And also, a little bit of uh, pepper. Our dish is almost ready. We will now add our prawns. Okay. Prawns in. Remember that I had the um, lemon juice as well? Yeah, because we need that tangy taste. Oh, look at that, my God. Doesn't get any better than that. Mm. Now, you have the, the, the option of uh, leaving it to this consistency, which is a kind of a broth sort of thing, like a thick broth, or keep on um, cooking for a little while longer and, and let it dry um, a bit more. And then you can, you can uh, serve this with uh, just white rice or uh, something uh, called farofa, which is what I'm, what I'm having with. Farofa is something that I will pro I'll try to, to bring a couple of uh, farofa recipes onto the channel, but farofa is um, it's a Brazilian uh, concoction that goes with everything in the, um, Brazilian. People can do farofa, uh, farofa of pretty much everything. Um, let's not make a confusion uh, with the farofa, which is a dessert which I have in the channel, which is something completely different, nothing, nothing to do with farofa whatsoever. Farofa is it's a crummy thing that um, it's, it's a side dish that goes with, uh, with um, this sort of stocky uh, food. Actually, it goes with everything. And there's, they're so inventive in creating new farofas. Um, I made a, a banana farof, which is, which is the one I'm, I'm uh, uh, eating with this. I don't have time in this video to show you how to do it, but it's not very complicated. And, um, but yeah, if you really want me to, um, I'll, I'll get another recipe in uh, at some point with, uh, with that for offer. Um, yeah, so this is, this is pretty much done. We're going to uh, let it um, uh, cook off um, a bit of that liquid so it gets a little bit more consistent. And, uh, and yeah, and then we're going to serve and I'm going to try it and let you know what it feels like, what it tastes like. Okay, look at that, my God. And there you have it. This is my magnificent 
Bobo the Camarão or um, prawns, King Prawns Bobo. Um, it's delicious, I'm sure it is. I haven't tried it yet, um, but I'm sure it is. This is my sangria. I've, um, if you haven't seen um, the video where I teach you how to do this sangria, you're still in time. I will um, put a link up here somewhere to, um, to it. It's really simple and really, really delicious. Mm. Nice and fresh. But everything else, all recipes, um, all the ingredients, all the amounts, all the processes will be on joesonflavors.com. So by all means go there and, um, and check it out. And if you have anything to add, if you um, would like to voice your opinion, by all means g um, give me a comment down there as well. Or down here if you want. And uh, don't forget to share with your friends and, um, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't. So let's try this, um, this uh, beautiful thing now. I'm actually going to use my fork alone rather than, than um, the, f the, the knife. This is my farofia, the one I was telling you about. The banana farofia, not farofia, farofa. Mwah. So nice. Just gives a, a nice uh, texture to go with everything else. But you can serve this with the plain white rice or with vegetables if you want. Um, or just plain as, as, as it is because it's, uh, it's a very own um, um, a very capable standalone dish. Mm. I can feel everything. If you never try, uh, try and cook with uh, with these um, ingredients, you will feel uh, um, a number of um, new sensations. You will feel the coconut, the sweetness of the coconut. You will feel the, um, the palm oil wrapping the whole thing in the back um, but obviously there's there's more and um, there's a number of, of different fats um, incorporated into this uh, this guava root um, mashed it's just a beautiful texture um, it's just it's just a warm feeling that that um, in every bite I mean and you can you can have this summer you can have this for winter you can't go wrong as you, as you've seen it's, it's really really easy to make um, there's a lot of prep, which I didn't show you. Um, well, not a lot of prep, but a, a lot of things that you need to basically chop. Uh, but other than that, no. It's just, um, oh, look at that foot off you there. Can you see it? This is good, I'm just teasing you for my next video. This is made with the stale bananas that, that we always have. Everyone has stale bananas in the house. And this is what I made with it. My God. And uh, it's not vegetarian, it's pescatarian. But you could actually make a vegetarian dish out of this. If you skip the, the prawns altogether, it's perfectly um, eat edible still. Um, you don't even need to add any protein because it's got all these things going. And uh, yeah, and there you go. Mm. Sorry. Right. That's a wrap. Thank you very much for, for watching this video as well. Um, don't forget to check the sangria one. Wow. I'm going to dive myself fully into both these delights. And I hope to see you on the next video. Okay, thank you very much. And don't forget to share and subscribe. Ciao.